President Obama arrived in Baton Rouge, where residents had set out household items to dry or be discarded. The unprecedented flooding has damaged about 60,000 homes in southern Louisiana, shocking residents who have never experienced a natural disaster of that proportion. My house was as nice as it's ever been. I'm losing it. And I'm sorry. I just can't take this. Obama assured residents that support will keep coming until people can return to their homes or rebuild their lives. This is not a one-off. This is not uh, a, a photo op issue. This is how do you make sure that a month from now, three months from now, six months from now, people still are getting the help that they need. I need all Americans to stay focused on this. The president was criticized for not interrupting his vacation on Martha's Vineyard to visit the flooded state, most notably by Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, who visited Louisiana last week. Honestly, Obama ought to get off the golf course and get down there. Obama said he did not want to disrupt the emergency rescue efforts. Louisiana Governor Bell Edwards supported the president's decision, saying he could not spare the security personnel required for a presidential visit. He also expressed hope that Trump's visit was more than an attempt to attract voters' attention. But he later thanked the Republican candidate for drawing attention to the gravity of the disaster. Obama said that in times of tragedy, Washington tends to avoid politicking. I guarantee you, nobody on this block None of those first responders. Nobody gives a hoot whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. Uh, what they care about is making sure they're getting the, uh, the drywall out and the carpet out and there's not any mold building. They get some contractors in here and they start rebuilding as quick as possible. That's what they care about. That's what I care about. At least 13 people were killed by flooding, while some others are still missing. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.